Good afternoon. Welcome to Edinburgh University's 2021 Virtual Academic Honors Convocation. Special thanks to Sean Regan for his beautiful musical introduction to today's ceremony. I am Mike Cannon, the Provost and Vice President for Academic Affairs here at Edinburgh. Thank you all for joining us this afternoon. We've come together for our most prestigious ceremony as a university outside of commencement itself to honor as an academic community, the excellence demonstrated by our students. To start the celebration, I am pleased to introduce Dr. Dale Elizabeth Pearson, the interim president of Edinburgh University. Dr. Pearson. Welcome everybody. Welcome and congratulations to our honors graduates, scholars in the Edinburgh University's Honors College, academic department award recipients, academic honor society members, graduating ROTC cadets and outstanding scholar athletes. Welcome also to our student speaker, Ms. Shannon Kearney, an Honors College Diploma graduate. It is an honor to join with others of the, uh, with others of the Edinburgh University community today in recognizing the accomplishments of students who embody our commitment to excellence and individual achievement. Through talent and hard work, our honorees have truly excelled. I would like to extend congratulations to the families, loved ones, and friends who have supported our high achieving students. With your help, they have triumphed over the rigors of academic life to earn these well-deserved accolades. This academic honors convocation is an important event at Edinburgh University and a great moment in the lives of each of the individuals we are honoring today. You have made us all extremely proud. Dr. Hannon. Thank you. I would like now to introduce the academic leaders who have joined us today to help celebrate and recognize our students. Dr. Aaron Lake is the Dean of the School of Education and the Executive Director of our School of Graduate Studies. Dr. Scott Miller is the Dean of the College of Arts, Humanities and Social Sciences and the Dean of the School of Business. Dr. Aaron Lake is the Dean of the College of Health of Science and Health Professions. Dr. Roger Solberg is the Director of the Edinburgh University Honors College. Dr. Catherine Robbins is our Director of Athletics. Captain Robin, Robert Robin, Robinson is our Professor in Military Science. And our student speaker is Ms. Shannon Kearney. Shannon will graduate in May with a Bachelor of Science in Education and a minor in Special Education. Shannon grew up in Cockerton, PA, and throughout high school, Shannon found herself frequently tutoring her classmates, particularly in mathematics. She dreamed of educating others and that dream compelled her to attend Edinburgh University. While personally experiencing the importance of algebraic foundations, combined with her own love of grammar, she chose to major in middle level education with a focus on mathematics and English language arts. Shannon is in her final semester here at Edinburgh, powering through the various challenges of student teaching gripped by a pandemic. Her years at Edinburgh have brought her innumerable opportunities and experiences. Beyond academics, she began her college years honing her professional skills as an admissions tour guide, proudly representing the university while engaging prospective students and their families. Additionally, Shannon is an active member of the Edinburgh Honors College, the Highland Ambassadors, and several other campus organizations. These memberships have provided her with a significant foundation of community service and volunteer activities. She has also received a number of awards and scholarships, including the President's Excellence Award and the Frank G. and Dorothy D. Honor Scholarship, to name a few. Her practical learning experiences span from the Philadelphia Urban Education Seminar to the Outreach 360 English as a Second Language program in the Dominican Republic. Outside of Edinburgh, Shannon works as a professional photographer, enjoys spending time with family and friends, and is always ready for an impromptu adventure. After graduation, Shannon plans to secure a teaching position in an underserved area of Pennsylvania. It's my pleasure to welcome Ms. Shannon Kearney. Thank you, Provost Hannon, for that lovely introduction. I want to thank everyone for taking time out of their day to attend the Spring 2021 Honors Convocation. 
This is an important milestone for each and every one of us as we near the end of our undergraduate journeys and look forward to what lies ahead. I'm truly grateful to Dr. Solberg for not only being the best Honors College Director around, but for also nominating me to share some thoughts with you today. How lucky are we to have something that makes saying goodbye so hard? The Edinburgh Class of 2021 shares a special bond that will never be broken. Throughout our first years on campus, we grew together as a group of young adults trying to find our way in the world. We have supported one another as we jumped outside our comfort zones, explored new places, tried new things, and pushed ourselves to be those who strive. Personally, I experienced many firsts throughout these past four years. I parachuted out of an airplane, I traveled outside of North America, and I found myself plastered on billboards from Erie to Pittsburgh. As I tell you a little more about my Edinburgh firsts, I would like you to start thinking about your own Edinburgh stories. My story started the day that I was born. My mom worked for the university for 18 years and I knew I was going to be attending Edinburgh. This was primarily for the tuition waiver granted to employees and their families. Then unfortunately, a few months before my college experience was supposed to begin, my mom accepted a position at Slippery Rock. Given her tuition waiver only applied to the campus where she worked, she desperately tried to persuade me to become a slimy pebble lioness. These next steps into my next chapter were now in complete turmoil. When my heart had been programmed for Edinburgh, my pocketbook was now pointing me towards SRU. Being a very frugal person, I was greatly struggling with this decision. The internal battle continued as I was attending a fateful late summer new student orientation at Edinburgh. I have intentionally used the word fateful here as this is where I met my college roommate and her friendship was the final reason I was searching for to follow my gut and make Edinburgh my next home. Since then, Brooklyn and I have remained close friends and we ironically and unknowingly moved into the same exact apartment building last summer. In the future, when I reminisce about college, she will be part of many crazy stories. Now, the summer before my freshman year, I accepted my first student worker position, an admissions office tour guide. The employees there quickly became my first family on campus. The veteran student workers in Academy Hall took me under their wings and showed me the Edinburgh way and the knowledgeable staff gave me the confidence I needed to navigate my first academic days and much more. I quickly learned the lay of the land and began spreading my love for the university. I cannot thank the admissions office staff enough for exposing me to so many extraordinary people and providing me with unforgettable experiences, all of which have helped hone my professional and personal skills and mold me into the person that I am today. The first organization that I joined at the campus was the honors program. I was and still am incredibly grateful to be a member of this group. This was Dr. Solberg's first semester as the director and he absolutely wowed us with his game show success on Jeopardy at the mandatory meeting as we called it at the time. After this meeting, Dr. Solberg welcomed Brooklyn and I with open arms and highly encouraged us to get involved with the program. So, that is exactly what we did. We marched in the homecoming parade, volunteered at Erie's Zubu, wrote to pen pals, explored Niagara Falls, joined the Student Leadership Advisory Council, and more recently attended the Pashi Honors Leadership Conference in Harrisburg. Just to name a few of the incredible things we experienced, all thanks to Dr. Solberg and the Honors Program. Fast forward to the year 2021. Over the past 12 weeks, I have been determined to become an engaging middle school teacher despite the many challenges the pandemic has introduced. In the classroom, one of the ways we have been engaging our virtual students is by having everybody type in the chat and send their responses all at one time. So right now, I want all of my fellow classmates who are watching this live stream to take a moment and think about all the good times you have had over the past four years. With these memories in mind, 
I would like each of you to type in the comments below, but wait to hit send, one of your favorite school appropriate memories from our time here at Edinburgh. Take 10 seconds or so to think and type, only a few sentences, just enough for us to know how much joy that memory brings to you. Then, on the count of three, we will all hit send. So I'll give you a couple seconds here. I can't see Facebook, so hopefully you're doing this. Okay, hopefully we all have our responses typed out. I'm gonna count to three and everyone can hit send. One, two, three. Hopefully the live stream is now filled with some comments. If so, take a gander through some of those moments that we will cherish for the rest of our lives. Although this has not been the senior year that we expected, I do not want our memories to be clouded by the limitations brought on by the pandemic. We have proudly prevailed as the class of 2021. Let's choose to focus on the positives and not let COVID-19 ruin how we look back at our college experiences. The memories scrolling throughout the comments, hopefully, are so much more than what they appear to be. And they're just a snapshot of why saying goodbye to Edinburgh in May will be so hard. As we each take our first steps into something new, whether it your first day of graduate classes or your first day of a new job, I encourage you all to remember all the firsts we shared together on this beautiful campus. Something new isn't always bad, and while it can be scary, don't let your fears get in the way of chasing your dreams. To all the patient and life-changing faculty, staff, classmates, community members, and families who put up with us through all the good, the bad, and the ugly, Bless your souls, because we definitely left our mark here in the borough. This is not goodbye, it is simply hello from a new perspective. And even though we will shortly be leaving here as graduates, we will always be proud fighting Scots. I cannot wait to see you all as alumni covered in Royal Stuart plaid from head to toe at future homecomings. Let the real adulting begin. Thank you, class of 2021. It has been such an honor. Thank you, Shannon. That was a wonderful presentation. The students we recognize this afternoon have demonstrated a commitment to learning, to scholarship, and personal excellence. The focus of our ceremony today is the presentation of awards, and our deans and other representatives of the academic governance of the university will announce these awards. First, we recognize our seniors who will graduate with honors in May. These students received their honor stoles, which were distributed at the end of March prior to this virtual ceremony. Dr. Scott Miller, Dean of the College of Arts, Humanities, and Social Sciences, and Dean of the School of Business will announce the awards for summa cum laude. Dr. Miller. Thank you, Dr. Hannon. The highest academic recognition that a student can earn at Edinburgh University is summa cum laude designation. To be eligible for this award, which is a gold stole, students must earn a 3.80 grade point average or higher out of a possible 4.0. At this time, I am proud to announce the 2021 summa cum laude honor award recipients. Gianna Alessandro, Melinda Alexander Luthi, Rebecca Aloisio, Tricia Arianos, Gabriella Barber, Bailey B, Alyssa Bogardas, Leah Boring, Danielle Bowser, David Bro, Jordan Brewer, Alicia. Ashlyn Brown, Cameron Bujnowski, Carly Burford, Jennifer Burton, Abby Carney, Emily Catalano, Alexander Seleski, Mallory Sigich, 
Casey Klaus, Hannah Crum, Brittany Dar, Margot Dace, Cameron Darty, Eric Dorge, Christopher Elder, Katie Fetchick, Margaret Fragapane, Laura Gary, Quinn Goffin Gohan, Phoenix Green, Cole Hayton, Amber Hepler, Keith Hepler, Michaela Herrera, Riley Herzing, Bailey Hoffman, Maria Hollebuck, Emily Horneman, Kyle Hersey, Haley Carnes, Shannon Kearney, Kara Kern, Leah Consul, Michaela Lind, Madison Lautzenheiser, Kimberly Meckward, Sarah Meyer, Dania Millick, Caitlin Orlando, Nick Palmer, Emma Perry, Bradley Peters, Madeline Pike, Brenna Pranath, Mackenzie Ribel, Tayab Shakur, Maev Stewart, Haley Stutzman, Bailey Thompson, Sydney Trevino, Michaela Mullen, Morgan Whitlow, Michael Wolf, and Marissa Zupin. Dr. Aaron Lake, Dean of the School of Education and Executive Director of the School of Graduate Studies will introduce the awards for magna cum laude. Thank you, Dr. Miller. To earn the magna cum laude recognition, students must achieve between a 3.6 and a 3.79 for their grade point average. The award is the white stole. I am proud to announce the 2021 magna cum laude honor award recipients. Janie Adam. Carly Allen, Sarah Fabe, Levi Becker, Tiffany Berry, Amy Bowden, Jessica Brantner, Molly Breer, Mackenzie Brensner, Lily Burdick, Erica Burkholder, Jocelyn Burns, Allison Boucha, Robert Campbell, Matthew Chipazzi, Caitlin Diger. Andrea Davis, Rebecca Dawson, Sophie De Palma, Mackenzie Frennerneck, Jordan Fox, Caitlin Gleba, Tejon Goggins, Richard Gomez, Brooklyn Goodward, Emma Gordon, Brittany Gorman, Kaylee Harnett, Emily Herring, Lauren Hiller, Brittany Hurry. Justin Kazmierski, Alaska Tarboskinski, Anna Keitlinger, Jessica Leon, Sophia Lyons, Rebecca Mans, Brooke Martin, Adriana Miller, Kara Miller, Osnai Mohammed, Peyton Moranian, Alexandra Moroz, Aaron Mueller, Corey Myers, Daniel Newcomer, Stephanie Parsons, Ryan Pasternak, Courtney Peters, Tyler Preck, Samantha Rao, Bailey Sander, Nicole Schock, Avery Schmader, Maha Spanik, Marcella Stanich, Naomi Stewart, Remington Skutskowski, Delaney Tayoff, Hannah Taylor, Thomas Taylor, Eleanor Thorpe, Riley Vaughn, Sarah Vaughn, Logan Watson, Connor Wentworth, Erica White, Grace Wick. Dr. Denise Soler, Dean of the College of Science and Health Professions, will introduce the awards for cum laude.
Thank you, Dr. Lake. The cum laude award, a red stole, is presented to those students who achieve between a 3.4 and a 3.59 grade point average. I am proud to announce the 2021 cum laude honor award recipients. Brooke Allen, Courtney Allen, Jasmine Allen, Caitlin Baganski, Samuel Bohan, Ashley Bowman, John Brenner, Kaylee Bozowitz, Andrew Callahan, Zachary Campbell, Nicholas Cairo, Natalie Carson, Gary Christopherson, Madeline Ciancio, Julia Single, Hunter Clements, Nicholas Constantino, Ashley Corwin, Mackenzie Cox, Maria Cruz, Cassidy Cunningham, Clayton Danielson, Lindsay Doherty, Sydney Dundon, Jack Dunn, Lauren Esper, Carly Fischetti, Anna Farinelli, Rondal Franco de Santos, Emily Funk, Joshua Giardina, Andrew Gorzinski, Madison Guisto, Mina Hake, Jordan Hauser, Alexis Heinzel, Megan Henry, Carlin Hiles, Brianna Horoski, Abigail Heiler, Alex J, Nicole Kadlisik, Courtney Kelly, Gabrielle Kirk, Savannah Kistler, Mary Lane, Carolyn Larson, Morgan Lee, Taylor Leupold, Emily Linville, Samantha Morrow Betters, L. McCartney, Megan McConaughey, Candace McDole, Azar Mercer, Madeline Moody, Hannah Morrison, Joshua Musser, Donita Newcomer, Neil Noyce, Madison Newfer, Modestus Nugo, Andrew Osborne, Andy Polishin, Cade Porterfield, Jordan Race, Alexis Roberts, Maria Rose, Morgan Scott, Alexis Shorts, Allison Slupsky, Christine Snipper, Alexander Taylor, Chelsea Thornton, Sarah Wedekin, Shamir White, Margaret Whittington, Zachary Wigton, Matthew Wilson, Cullen Wolford, Keegan Yonkers. Congratulations to our students earning cum laude honors. The associate degree with distinction, a PIN, is presented to associate degree students who achieve a 3.0, 3.40 or higher. I am proud to announce the 2021 associate degree with distinction recipients. Owen Biddle, Lucas Bryson, Alexander Crowbridge, Megan Miller, Aaron Moore, Zachary Ross, Nicholas Sanner, Dylan Smith, Lucas Sabaleski, Lily Stryker, Tristan Sturrock, Jason Tucker, Ryan White. The awards for our honors diploma candidates who are completing the requirements of the Edinburgh University Honors College will be presented by Dr. Roger Solberg, Director of the Honors College. Thank you, Dr. Oler. We recognize with gold honor cords, seniors who have distinguished themselves by completing the special requirements for a university honors diploma, in addition to their normal university requirements. I am pleased to announce the 2021 Honors College Diploma candidates. Rebecca Aloisio, Kyle Berger, David Kyle Bro, Jordan Brewer, Allison Busha, Casey Klaus, Sophia Enterline, Margaret Fragapane, Caitlin Gleva, Brooklyn Goodworth, Keith Hepler, Carlin Hiles, Maria Hollebeck, Kyle Hersey, Haley Carnes, Shannon Carney, Michaela Lind, Madison Lautzenheiser, Rebecca Manns, Ishra Musa, 
Corey Myers, Mackenzie Rival, Maria Rose, Avery Schneider, Tayab Shakur, Maeve Stewart, Morgan Whitlow, Margaret Whittington, and Grace Wick. Congratulations to our Honors College students. Dr. Hannon. Thank you, Dr. Silberg. Each of our undergraduate academic departments may name an outstanding graduate for special honor recognition. The Outstanding Departmental Graduate Award is a red honor cord, which is worn at commencement. The academic deans will now present the outstanding graduate awards from their respective colleges and schools, beginning with the College of Science and Health Professions. Dr. Oler. From the College of Science and Health Professions, Department of Biology and Health Sciences, Danielle Bowser. From the Department of Communication Sciences and Disorders, Jordan Brewer. I'm sorry, go back to chemistry. From the Department of Chemistry, Rebecca Manns and Megan Miller. From the Department of Communication Sciences and Disorders, Jordan Brewer. From the Department of Geosciences, Laura Gray. Gary. From the Department of Math and Computer Science, Rebecca Aloisio. From the Nursing Department, Alexei Karkovsky. From the Department of Physics and Technology, Lucas Bryson and Rebecca Manns. From the Department of Psychology, Maeve Stewart. From the Department of Social Work, Melinda Alexander Luthi. Dr. Lake will now present the outstanding students from the School of Education. Thank you. From the School of Education, Department of Counseling, School Psychology, and Special Education, Trisha Aranios. From the Department of Early Childhood and Reading, Caitlin Kleba. From the Department of Health and Physical Education, Hannah Crum. And the Department of Middle and Secondary Education and Educational Leadership, Shannon Carney. Congratulations to our outstanding students from the School of Education. Dr. Miller will now present the outstanding students from the College of Arts, Humanities, and Social Sciences and the School of Business. Thank you, Dr. Lake. From the College of Arts, Humanities, and Social Sciences, the Department of Art, Nicole Schalk. Department of Communication, Journalism and Media, Keith Hepler. Department of Criminal Justice, Anthropology and Forensic Studies, Alexandra Mraz. Department of English and Philosophy, Madeline Pike. Department of History, Politics, Languages and Cultures, Caitlin Orlando. And from the School of Business, Department of Business and Economics, Kyle Herdsey. Congratulations to all of our outstanding students. Captain Robert Robinson will now present graduating students from the University ROTC program. Good afternoon. I'm Captain Robinson, Assistant Professor of Military Science for the Edinburgh Army ROTC program. I have the distinct honor this afternoon to recognize seniors that will be commissioned as second lieutenants in the Army. They have shown a great deal of dedication to their future by completing the academic course load prescribed by their major and by completing the additional coursework in the ROTC program, as well as passing a five-week mental and physical exam. Joshua Bennett, Garrett Christofferson, Hunter Clemens, Jonathan Gervin, Richard Gomez, Jordan Hauser, Michaela Milko, Noah Morris, James Popa, Logan Becker, Timothy Souter, Alexander Taylor, Logan Watson, and Margaret Whittington. Congratulations to these outstanding students 
have committed to military service following graduation this year. Dr. Hannon. Thank you. Edinburgh University hosts campus chapters of a wide variety of academic honor societies. These include national college honor societies, as well as those associated with specific academic disciplines. The names and members of each society are listed in the PDF program, which is available online. We're very proud of the students who have met these qualifications for membership in all of our academic honor societies. They represent achievement at the highest level, and we extend sincere congratulations to all of you. Dr. Catherine Robbins, our Director of Athletics, will now announce the Scholar Athlete of the Year Awards. Dr. Robbins. Thank you, Dr. Hannon. The Scholar Athlete of the Year Awards are presented annually to the male and female student athletes who have the highest cumulative grade point average with 100 or more credits earned. This award is an incredible accomplishment on any given year, let alone the tumultuous times presented by COVID-19. This year's Female Scholar Athlete of the Year Award is presented to Samantha Welsh of the lacrosse team. Samantha is from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, where she attended North Hills High School. She started in every game in her two seasons here and is a leader on and off the field. Her teammates describe her as not only the hardest working player on the field, but also their academic warrior who keeps them all motivated, focused, and organized academically a natural born educator, which is probably why Samantha excels maintaining a 3.94 GPA in early childhood education and special education. She is also a Highland ambassador, member of the student PSEA, and a peer tutor in the Office for Accessibility Services. Congratulations, Samantha, and thanks for your contributions to Edinburgh Athletics. This year's Male Scholar Athlete of the Year Award is presented to Kyle Bro of the Track and Field Program. Kyle is a sprinter from Harwick, PA, and attended Fox Chapel High School, where he was a three-time Whippeal track finalist. Kyle ran for us his first year, and after focusing on his studies, has returned his senior year and is setting the track on fire with best times as a fighting Scot of 11.18 seconds in the 100 meter, 22.94 seconds in the 200 meter, and 50.67 meters uh, seconds in the 400 meter. In other words, he's fast. Kyle is an environmental science and wildlife biology major who has maintained a 3.86 GPA. Congratulations to Kyle and thank you for helping to make us all burrow proud. Now back to President Dale. Thank you. One of the ways in which our students excel is through leadership. We are fortunate on our campus to have the assistance of a fine student leader for the past two and a half years. And I wish to take this opportunity to recognize him. I think I went out of order. Did I go out of order? Okay, I'll go on with Kyle. Okay. Kyle Hersey was appointed as the student representative to the Edinburgh Council of Trustees in September of 2018 and will conclude his term upon graduation this May. He will graduate summa cum laude with a baccalaureate degree in political science, legal studies, and economics with minors in mathematics, applied mathematics, and data analytics. Kyle will enter the master's program at Columbia University where he plans to study economics. Kyle is a member of the Edinburgh University Strategic Planning Committee and is on the Western Integration Governance and Leadership Working Group. He is a member of the Edinburgh Honors College and the Delta Mu Delta and Pi Mu Kepsilon International Honor Societies for Business and Mathematics. Respectively, additionally, he served as the vice president of the procedure for Edinburgh University Student Government Association. It would, Kyle has represented Edinburgh University with distinction and enthusiasm, and we thank him for his service to the university and to his fellow students.
Edinburgh University's finalists for the 2021 Saeed R. Ali Zadi Award for Economic Excellence is Rebecca Aloisio. Dr. Ali Zadi, a charter member of the Board of Governors of Pennsylvania State System of Higher Education, established this award to the honor system students who excel in the, in the pursuit of knowledge. Rebecca is pursuing a bachelor's degree in computer science with a concentration in game and virtual world development. Currently holding a 3.97 GPA, Rebecca has been named to the Dean's List every semester of her enrollment at the university. Rebecca is actively engaged in scholarly activities. Over the past two summers, she participated in the Science Undergraduate Laboratory Internship Program at the Argonne National Laboratory. Through that experience, she presented two research papers and is the co-author of a third paper. She is currently working on a project with Dr. Daniel Bennett, the professor of the Department of Mathematics and Computer Science and stemming from her work at the Argonne Institute last summer. Rebecca has given many presentations locally to students about her research and internship experiences. Since 2018, Rebecca has been working as a student tutor in the areas of computer science and mathematics. She is a member of Edinburgh's Honor Society and two national honors uh, societies, I Epsilon Pi Epsilon International Honor Society for Computing and Information Disciplines and Pi Mu Epsilon, the National Mathematics Honor Society. Rebecca will receive a certificate as the finalist of the 2021 Saeed Award and Academic Excellence. Congratulations again, Rebecca. Today, I would also like to recognize Majad Halabi, who has served as the president of the Student Government Association for the past year. He also served as the director of public relations for the Student Government Association prior to being appointed as the president. Majad has spent the last three and a half years at Edinburgh University as an international student from Lebanon. He was a member of the Model United Nations and Model NATO, two prestigious forums for professional development. Majad has also has said participating in those two clubs allowed him to realize what he really wants, wants and to appreciate being on a campus that expands beyond academic programs and professional development opportunities. Jod will graduate in May with a Bachelor's of Arts degree in political science with a concentration in international affairs. He currently serves on the Western Integration Governance and Leadership Working Group and has also always represented his fellow students with professionalism, strong leadership, and given them voice. We thank him today for his service to the university. Provost Cannon. Thank you. Thank you, President Pearson. At this time, I would like to thank the faculty for their expertise and professional commitment to preparing our students to meet the opportunities and challenges of the future. Thank you. As our program comes to a close, I wish to thank the members of the Academic Honors Convo Convocation Committee for their hard work and dedication in planning and implementing this virtual ceremony. And to thank again, Mr. Sean Regan who regaled us with his bagpiping at the start of the ceremony. To each and every student, thank you. You represent our very best and demonstrate that our combined efforts as an academic community have been successful. Lastly, during this unprecedented time in our nation's and planet's history, we as a university also wish to thank the many first responders, medical personnel, researchers, and essential employees, many of whom are Edinburgh graduates for their courage and dedication to doing what is right so that the rest of us can be safe. On behalf of Dr. Dale, the trustees, the faculty and staff of Edinburgh University, we wish you the greatest continuing success and fulfillment. Be safe. And thank you for joining us today.